steep turns are a performance maneuver, which consists of two 360 degree turns in opposite directions while maintaining a constant steep bank angle and altitude. The purpose of steep turns is to develop the smoothness, coordination, orientation, division of attention, and control techniques necessary for the execution of maximum performance turns when the airplane is near its performance limits. The maneuver also demonstrates how load factor increases while in a bank, vertical lift is reduced as the horizontal component of lift increases, and how to properly compensate for overbanking tendencies while in steep turns. First, perform the before maneuver checklist and select an altitude that would allow recovery no lower than 1500 feet AGL. Stabilize the aircraft in level cruise flight at 95 knots indicated airspeed, approximately 2200 RPMs, and select a suitable heading or reference point. Bug the starting heading and altitude on the PFD. Smoothly roll the aircraft into a coordinated steep turn, 45 degrees of bank for private pilots, and 50 degrees of bank for commercial pilots. As the bank steepens around 30 degrees, adjust back pressure to maintain constant altitude and increase the power about 100 RPMs to maintain airspeed of 95 knots indicated airspeed. If desired, trim the pressure off your hand to assist with elevator control. In the Cessna 172, under most flight conditions, about one and a half turns of trim are recommended to maintain pitch attitude in the bank. Note, this is a guideline, always trim to feel. Maintain the required constant bank angle, altitude, and airspeed throughout the first 360 degree turn. The more steady and constant the bank remains throughout the maneuver, the easier the maneuver will be. Every time the pilot changes the bank, the elevator back pressure must be adjusted. Throughout the maneuver, scan for traffic and continue to clear the area for a second turn. As the aircraft approaches the starting heading, initiate a smooth, coordinated rollout to level flight. A good rule of thumb is to begin the rollout at half the number of degrees of bank prior to reaching the target heading. Relax the back pressure used to maintain altitude during the first turn. If using trim, smoothly take out the same amount of trim to prevent the nose from rising rapidly or apply firm forward pressure to maintain level flight. Reduce the power setting to entry setting, 2200 RPMs. After clearing the airspace during rollout, immediately initiate a 360 degree turn in the opposite direction. Repeat the previous steps throughout the next 360 degree steep turn. After completion of the second turn, start to roll out roughly at half the number of degrees of bank the starting heading was. Return to straight level flight at cruise speed using the power setting of 2300 RPMs. Some helpful tips when conducting steep turns are Choose a notable aiming point that is easy to spot to ensure the aircraft is rolled out of the steep turns on the right heading. Smoothly roll into the steep turns using rudder and ailerons. Do not roll too quickly or slowly, as this can cause the pilot to have difficulty properly completing the maneuver. From the left pilot's seat, when turning left, the nose of the aircraft will look like it is in a climb because the pilot's forward view will have more sky than ground visible, which can cause the pilot to pitch down, and when turning to the right, the nose of the aircraft will look like it is in a descent because of the pilot's forward view, and will have more ground than sky visible, which causes the pilot to pitch up. This is known as parallax error. Pilots must remember this to prevent climbing or descending. Picture a laser beam coming out of the aircraft's longitudinal axis. By keeping the laser beam on the horizon, the pilot maintains their desired altitude throughout the maneuver. If the longitudinal axis is below the horizon, the pilot should bring the laser beam back up to the horizon to stop descending. If the longitudinal axis is above the horizon, the pilot should bring the laser beam back down to the horizon to stop climbing. If necessary, reduce the bank and increase the pitch to return to the desired altitude when descending. When an aircraft is in a steep turn, the raised wing will have a higher velocity and thus generate more lift. If allowed, the high wing will continue to increase the bank. The pilot will need to apply opposite aileron input of the turn to prevent overbanking. Use trim to alleviate control pressures, but remember to push the controls forward when transitioning from the first to the second turn and to remove the trim upon recovery to prevent unintentional climbing. Remain coordinated when rolling into the turn using the ailerons and rudder. 
Then, neutralize the rudders once the steep turn is established. The ACS standards for private and commercial single engine are When being evaluated by a progress check pilot or designated practical examiner, the pilot must clear the area and conduct a proper scan throughout the maneuver. You must not exceed the maneuvering speed while conducting the maneuver. Roll into a coordinated 360 degree steep turn with approximately a 45 degree bank for private pilots and a 50 degree bank for commercial pilots. Maintain the entry altitude of plus or minus 100 feet, airspeed plus or minus 10 knots, bank plus or minus 5 degrees, and roll out on the entry heading plus or minus 10 degrees. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.